Today's show is going to be about a classic character, Gizmo, Harvey Gizmo Rosenberg. And our question today comes from Rob Wijneshenk. Wijneshenk? In the Netherlands. Forgive me if I've mispronounced your name. Uh, Paul, I agree with your vision about family and community bond. Thank you. Everything that we do, uh, we work really hard to, to strengthen our community and make sure that, that uh, you're part of it and, and you know, we bring you into it. Done this for 40 something years and, and we love family. Um, a long time ago, I read a book called The Search for Musical Ecstasy, written by the late Harvey Rosenberg, founder of NAL, or the New York Audio Labs. He had quite a unique, sometimes hilarious vision about human audio tribes and high-end audio. Yeah, no kidding. Um, he triggered me to see audio gizmos and more perspective and made me smile a lot. Did you ever meet Harvey or read his book? And if so, what do you think of his vision on audio? Um, Harvey was, was a gem. Harvey, he, he passed away very young. I think he was in his 40s. I think he had a heart attack or something, but it was, and it was really sad. I loved Harvey. He was a very gifted individual. If For those of you that don't know, the, the, the series of amplifiers they made were called Moscodes, which uh, very near and dear to my heart because it's kind of like what we're doing now in the BHK series. Vacuum tube input stage, MOSFET output stage. And, but... Uh, and it was New York Audio Labs, and, and they were great sounding products. But Harvey was a gem. Harvey was, um, he was the funniest guy I think I ever met. Well, he, he, I'll give you a good example. Harvey decided that every amplifier they shipped would include right on the top in a plastic bag, a set of Pampers. Pamp enough for maybe in, in uh, the Netherlands, we don't know what Pampers are. They're the disposable diapers. And, and uh, there was a note in there that, uh, you know, we included these for you because when you hear this amp, you're going to shit yourself. <laughs> like, oh, this, this was at a time when, when audio was <clears throat> very straight-laced and stiff at the time. And we had these wonderful amplifiers and very precise people and men who, this was, you know, serious stuff, very British, very stiff. Um, and, and not to make fun of the British, but you guys can be a little stiff at times. And, and this was just an era of, uh, you know, the, the guys in suits, right? Harvey blew all of that up. Something, uh, you know, the rebel in me just absolutely adores, and I adored that man. I, I'll, I'll tell you uh, just a, a quick little story. Uh, about about Harvey. What, what? I went to a CES, which is the Consumer Electronics Show, years ago. We were in Chicago, if I remember right. And Harvey was showing, he had this new monster amplifier. Now, typically, our company, any other company that has a new monster amplifier, what are you going to do? You're going to hook it up to a really hard-to-drive pair of speakers and try and blow everybody away with how good your amplifier is and, and how well it works on these speakers. Not Harvey. Harvey <laughs> didn't even have a set of speakers in the room. Harvey took this amplifier, and I don't remember how many, let, let's say it was 300 watts. At the time, it was a pretty big amplifier. And he hooked it up to a wearing blender, right, through a transformer. So he, he put a sine wave. This is like an early version of the power plant, actually, if you think about it took a sine wave generator, put it into his amplifier, had an output transformer on it to jack it up to 110 volts, a variac, was it a variac? No, 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 sorry. Uh, he turned the volume uh, up and down of the, uh, of the, of the, the, um, of the sine wave generator and, and produced 110 volts out of this thing and drove the blender. And he, yeah, I mean, which is quite a feat. That takes a lot of power. And, more, more than so he would turn this blender and show you how this blender worked and he's standing there in a kimono this you know a japanese robe with a, a a section of booze over here and a line out the door and when i got in i harvey what the hell are you doing he goes making my ties 
guys pouring the stuff in, cranking the Moscode amplifier up, powering the blender, pouring Mai Tais for people and sending them on their way. And that was Harvey's introduction of his big amplifier from New York Audio Labs. I'll never forget that. What a great gem. Harvey, uh, yes, of course, I know him. And he, I, I just, I love color and people like that. He loosened the ties of a very stiff industry and never looked back. And, and I do miss him. And I miss the color of those kinds of people in our wonderful industry. Great question. And thanks for the memories. Um, it, so many with Harvey. I'll talk to you later. Bye.